few people asked us to do a full review of the inflatable kayak we were using in one of our last videos. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna show you pretty much everything about the NRS Kuna. Let's get this baby out of the trunk. We'll show you step by step of setting it up and um, all of that. So here's the bag that comes in. We could not fit it properly in the bag the last time we used it. Usually we can, but it is it can be a little challenging. But you know, we got it in there good enough to where we could load it up and get it back into the car. And this is a nice bag. It's like um, a fake leather. This supposedly weighs like 30 some pounds, but I would definitely say- It's a heavy 30 pounds. Feels to me like closer to probably 50. I'm gonna help Maddie get this out and we'll, I'll show it to you um, completely stretched out and all that stuff. Just got her out of the bag. Which time we took it out, I had my eight year old nephew and my five year old niece Pump it up. Before we get started blowing it up, what I'm gonna do is set a timer and I'm gonna let you guys know exactly how long it takes to pump it up using the pump it comes with. I started the timer already. She didn't get it in there good. That's okay. Here, we go. Here. this thing locks in, but we, we've actually had trouble with that. So I'm gonna hold this while she pumps. I'm sure that's just our error. Learn better, but this does lock in. It does have like a little valve on it you can turn that um, it actually keeps the air from leaking out. All right, so we got the first chamber pumped up. Let's see, it took three minutes and 30 seconds, and that was with a few brakes and me going super slow. So let's stop that. All right, so now I'm gonna start it for the second chamber. Let's go. <laughs> we cannot get that thing to stay in there. All right, last chamber. And it's got three chambers all together, guys. Two on the side and one in the middle. It took, how long? Five and a half minutes. So let's go ahead and stop that. All right, it took five and a half minutes to get it filled up. And that was with the hand pump. You can get electric pumps for these things too. This is just the pump that came with it and we wanted to use that. You can pump this middle section right here up to what is it? 20, 20 PSI. 20 PSI. 20 PSI. We did not do that. We have found that it's not necessary. Um, we pump it up to about 8 PSI. That's perfect for what we use it for. If you want to stand up on it, which honestly, I, I think I could stand on it like this, but you want to pump it up a little higher maybe. But for just what we do to sit on it, it's very sturdy like this. You can hear it's solid. We have found that's all we need. And I think the sides pump up to three PSI. I'd probably say we have them pretty close to three PSI, maybe not quite. And um, it's perfect. It does all we need to do. So now, let's see Maddie's putting these foot pegs in. They just kind of slide into these little things right here. All we really need to do is put the seat on and it's ready to go. But it also comes with these little mounts right here. They're made for yak attack mounts, which we do have one already installed on there for our fishing rod holder. We would like to get a few more in time. He's got these nice bungees. So we're gonna put that on. We're gonna get the seat strapped in and I'll show you that process. And um, I'm not timing anymore. I would like to give you an estimate of how long all that took, but it really depends on how simple you wanna go, how many accessories you wanna put on. I would say probably 10 minutes altogether from pumping it up to getting everything on here is about how long it takes to get it on the water and ready to go. That includes the accessories and the yak attack mount. Once you have it on there, you just leave it on there. It's fine. You can deflate it. You fold it up. You do have to like screw whatever your attachment is on, of course, each time. And all together it has, here's a yak attack mount over there. You've got one up front and you've got two in the back. It's pretty cool. These things right here on this side, and uh, just kind of hold down your storage or whatever. And you got plenty more of these if you wanted to add more. The floor, this is really nice. It's textured, it's like non-slip. And again, listen to this. I mean, that sounds like a solid, you know, very nice. And we're gonna get the straps and get the seat on. And they just strap down to these D-rings right here. And it comes with a measurer for, I guess, you know, your fish and all that. I'm just gonna strap this seat down. You just set it like that. And I have to give the seat right out of the gate, five out of five. It's so comfortable and it's the perfect height. You know, this is a sit on top, kind of puts you above the water instead of in the water, which I really like to me when I'm, 
you know, you're fishing and stuff, that's a huge plus. She's just strapping these down and it's four all together. And it comes with these straps. Did not come with any sort of paddle. We just got this off of Amazon. We're gonna have to put this fin on the bottom. One of us will kind of hold the back end up when we get it down here while the other slides this in. And this is gonna help with tracking. Let's get it down here and uh, get it to the boat dock. We got the little fin locked on. So I went and grabbed Maddie's fishing poles. She forgot them on the bank. And I'm thinking she's gonna wanna fish today. Yeah. It's getting a little windy now. And when Maddie is done fishing in it, I'll take it out and give you guys my honest opinions and what I think of it. Give you guys two different opinions. And just so you know, we bought this. We were not given this for a review or, or paid or anything like that. No sponsorships. Um, NRS is a pretty big company. So this is all honest, you know. I'm not going to tell you guys anything to try to sell you anything that I personally right. don't believe is true. See ya. Have fun and good luck. Catch a big one. This feels very sturdy. Like, not too bad. Now that we're out here, the first place I'm going to hit is this wood pile right here. The wind's pushing us around the lake just a little bit, but that's going to be, this will be like that with any kayak, really. I actually don't like the color worm I'm using right now because it looks too much like the water. It's really easy to row. I feel like I don't have to put a whole lot of effort and energy into it. Could also be that I have a, um, I think this is a 98 inch paddle, which is a bit oversized according to some people, but for me, I think it works great. That way I can just be a, a lazy paddler. We're gonna get up in this cove see if any fish want to come up and play. Just let ourselves kind of drift up in here. All right, nice little guy. First cast with that worm. Not bad. Thanks, buddy. All right. Let me get over here, fix my worm. I have a feeling we're going to catch a lot more fish today. The wind is blowing me. It was not supposed to be a windy day. That's pretty good. Zero turn. I'm sure it'd be even better if you were standing up on it. Mondo might be up in this little crevice. Oh, there goes a little fish right there. Did y'all see that? All right, I'm gonna paddle on to a different spot of the lake and I'll catch you guys there. A lot more calm over here. I don't see it losing any inflation. Everything still feels stable and sturdy. Ah, oh, missed him. See, that's one thing. It's hard to get a bite. It's hard to get a hook set on a kayak. You gotta... It's hard. He ate my worm. Dude ate the worm. Another fish about the same size as the last one. Thank you, buddy. He tore that worm up. I'm gonna get a different worm here. I'm gonna go with the same color though because they seem to like it. We've almost reached our destination. Then we're gonna take the kayak back and Ray's gonna give you her thoughts on it. I'm having a great time on this thing, for real. I'm on an inflatable with treble hooks. 
You'd have to really try to puncture this bag. Oh, did you guys see that? Dude, I had a monster jump up on this. I wasn't really paying attention. I just, when I looked, I saw a huge splash. What was that? Oh my God. That scared me. I don't know what that was, y'all. What? There's some really big fish here. What am I sitting on? I don't see them. Let me put my glasses on. Yo. What are we looking at here, y'all? Are these bass or these big uh, catfish? What is happening? It's gotta be like giant catfish, like flathead catfish or something. This is crazy. All right. I gotta figure out what these fish are. I felt like it was gonna knock the cuda over. We found monsters back here. I gotta get back over here and don't worry about that. I'm scared to roll, roll through here. Thing was freaking huge. Look, whatever took off is right here now. I wanna slow, slowly float, cause I wanna see if I can see what kind of fish that was. It was multiple. There it is. What is it? Oh my god, it hit the bottom of my boat. There's another one. What is it? Look at him. Guys, I don't know if you can see him, but he's right in front of my boat. Huge. Huge. Oh, there she is right there in the water. I don't know if you guys can see her. Or is it a carp? It might be a carp. I can't tell. It's either a carp or a catfish. When it was turned to the side just now like that, it almost looked like it had scales. But at the same time, when I saw it from above, it looked like a catfish with like their pectoral fins, their dorsal fin. It looked like a catfish. I don't know. You don't want this though. All right, let's get out of here. Beautiful. I mean, that thing came through the water. Like, oh, there it is. Oh, it's a carp. Big boy. Big carp. Okay, well, that makes a little bit more sense. Right, I'm gonna paddle back to Ray. Ooh, that's a snake. Big old black snake. Get me away from that bush. Maddie just came in. We're gonna swap off and I'm gonna take this baby out and let you guys know what my thoughts are. But first, Maddie, what do you think? I love it. I don't know if the wind was a problem for you on the bank, but in that cove back there, it's like every, all the wind in the world is pushing into that cove. So I was kind of going in circles right there. Could have used the anchor. But overall, I like it. I mean, it tracks pretty straight. It doesn't take a whole lot of force to paddle. I'm gonna switch off. We're gonna let Ray Ray take it for a second, see what she thinks. Now you guys can watch me try to get off. <laughs> um, How does it feel standing on it? It don't feel bad. <laughs> like, I'm kind of clumsy. Yeah, if we pumped it up even further PSI, I think it would be even better. Yeah, I 
think I can fish off of this. But, yeah. All right, let me get off of here. Do not sit on the ground here. My butt got soaked. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah. All right, wish me luck. Good luck. I've taken this out. No, it's a stick. Once before, and I love it. Ooh, I dripped some water onto my leg. It got cold. This water is like ice. If I didn't know this was an inflatable, I wouldn't guess it was. It feels like a hard shell. Hopefully I'll be able to make a few casts. That's one thing. Um, I'm not going to blame it on this kayak, but kayaks in general I have a hard time with like staying still long enough fish. Definitely need an anchor or something. Okay. Here we go. Oh, he caught a fish. Oh, turtle just jumped into the water. Hey, how are you? I'm gonna have to go ahead and give the stability and quality a 10 out of 10. Biggest issue I'm having, and it's not anything to do with this kayak, but more so me, is learning how to cast and also steer. It's not very easy. There's this little loop and uh, we'll head on back. I think I've been on it enough to know for a lake anyways, it's calm water. Yeah, there, which the last time we were on it, it was raining. I'm not gonna say the water was really rough, but definitely wasn't this calm. And it did great then too. I'll have to test her out in the river or something there. There's some fish up against this bank. It's gotta be. Thought that was a fish. It's definitely a snake. No, it's a fish. Got one, guys. He wrapped me around a tree. He ain't bad. Come on, drag. All right, baby, come on over here. Come on, we're barely hooked. <laughs> All right, the hell am I gonna do this? Get used to fishing from a boat. Look at this, it's a decent fish. About 60, 15 and a half to 16 inches. A nice fish. First uh, catch ever on a kayak. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. Thanks for the bite, baby. She's ready. Or he, I don't know. Thanks, baby. Definitely a quality catch right there. That was fun. Get this puppy back to the bank. I really like this boat. Easy to pedal, just very comfortable. The seat is top notch. I've been very comfortable this whole time. I wanted to talk about the tracking. I don't really have any much experience to compare it to anything, but I would say it's pretty good. It also turns really easily. And without this boat, we never would have caught that fish. While Maddie was going in the kayak, fish that bank. It's the only place you can bank fish here. And the whole stretch and um, nothing. And I saw, couldn't tell you how many people come and go also catching nothing. Get out on the water and access different spots is going to go ahead and say for sure going to help us catch more fish. If I had any complaint at all, it would be the wind. I'm pretty sure that's probably going to be an issue in any kayak. An inflatable, I'm going to go ahead and say it's probably going to be worse than an inflatable, but definitely not a deal breaker. We both had a turn with the kayak. Maddie, closing statements, what do you think? Caught two fish. The kayak felt nice and sturdy. I probably could stand on it if I wanted to, but I'm still a little scared, but it held up really good. It tracks well. It's lightweight. I like it. If you're in the market for something that's not a hard shell kayak, say you live in an apartment or you only have a small car like us, um, this is a great investment. Definitely worth the money and I would buy another one. I think it's probably the best inflatable. I'm not going to say the best. I've not tried all the others out there, but I don't see how it could get any better than this with an inflatable. So there might be some that's just as good. But if it's better, I would love to try it out. I, I just don't see how it could get any better than this, personally. And we'll meet you at the boat ramp, show you how to take it all apart, yeah. and show you how quick it is to disassemble. All right, catch you guys there. All right, first things first, I get this off. Just like that, got that. Push that air out of there. If you guys get an electric pump, you can also get them that not only pump them up, but deflate them. Yeah, Our, the one that come one, with this do not. 
It does not deflate. No, it does not deflate. No. We had one, but we broke it. This is the process we're going to use today. Like a tube of toothpaste. Got as much air out as we can get out without a cake lighter. We'll be getting for this thing. I think it'll be well worth it. We're just gonna get it back into this bag now. All right, we got her in the bag. Now we're gonna get her in the trunk. There is a, a strap on the back of the bag where you can actually put it on your back. I would not I want to. Here and here, like this, and we're gonna take it to the trunk. Yeah. I wouldn't want to walk around with that on my back. Toyota Camry just to give you guys a reference and it does have something else in the trunk kind of got a trunk full back there and this still fits if you're anything like that if you want to know or you blow a bunch of money you really want to know if it's something you're going to like so if you guys have any questions at all feel free to reach out and ask us um you know we'll answer the best we can and um and always honest if you enjoy this video and you want to see more of the NRS CUDA, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're going to be taking it out a lot and really putting her through the test. The next time we test it out might even be on the river. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. But anyways, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.